in the UK. Topping an amazing bill is a genuine barn burner. The pride of Wales, Barry Jones, the Welsh wrecking machine. He defends his Police Gazette super middleweight belt against LT Smash Nelson, a US-based South African who's as tough as they come and who loves the thrill of the Trigon. This fight has everything and more over six grueling three-minute rounds in the no-hiding place that is the mighty Trigon. I'm Tom Ross. Welcome to Cardiff, the capital city of Wales. What a show we've got for you tonight. The main event just blows you away. It's probably the greatest fight in bare-knuckle history. With me, Gareth Davis. Gareth, what a fight and what a night. Yeah, we've got bare-knuckle royalty fighting tonight in the main event. Barry Jones, beloved here in Wales. It's a sold-out crowd. It's an amazing atmosphere against an American standout in Lauren T. Smash Nelson, who looked fantastic this week. Incredible character, could have been an academic, but he's chosen combat sports as his canvas to paint on. Terrific fight coming up, absolute respect between these two gentlemen, Tom. The arena was packed from the start of the afternoon. It's incredible in here. We've had the national anthem of Wales, we'll have it later on. Extraordinary night ahead of us, seven great fights. It is. It is going to be absolutely unbelievable atmosphere. When Barry Jones walks out for the main event, it's going to be unbelievable. Now, let's have a look at the rest of the card. We've got some great fights. One guy I'm looking forward to seeing always, Martin Ruffell. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he's up next. Uh, England versus Wales. Martin Ruffell, six out of eight knockouts. Fight of the night for him, of course, from England against Ryan McCann. Doozy, as he's known from Wales. Dorian Darch, he's fought at heavyweight against Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois, these big names here in a, in a bridge away battle with the Ukrainian Vladimir Skurtu, Gareth Williams against Nathan Massey at light heavyweight. You've tipped Gareth Williams to be a world champion in the future and local favourite Dan Lowell against late replacement Dave Calvi who've come off the Liverpool shipyard, a very tough man to fight in our test bout of the night before the main event. It's mouth-watering. Martin Raffel says he loves to fight he loves to hit people and let there be blood. He cannot wait. We are unbelievably excited about tonight. Not a, I've not been this, this excited for a long time. There's only three million people in Wales, but they love their fight sports. As I say, packed out here. We've got guys from the valleys of Wales, very tough men, blue-collar men. We've got university graduates. We've got all kinds of characters now, fighting tonight. It's going to be a great night. Let's have a little look at the rules of BYP. So there you go, no three knockdown. Ten-point must uh, scoring system, which is quite understandable um, in boxing. Punching in the clinch is allowed, which is very important. You can't use a glove as in pro debut fights for both men and women. I mean, this is unbelievable. We will talk you through it. Do not worry. Yeah, the, the trigon's an amazing thing, go. isn't it? This triangular fighting combat sphere, the really tight corners. <laughs> Their guys can clinch in the corners. Yeah. It's an amazing. And we want to see, by the way. We want to see. You cannot be saved by the bell like you can in every other form. You cannot be saved by the bell. If you're knocked down, the referee will not step or the bell won't go until he's finished counting. Absolutely, and this is the highest rate of stoppages in all combat sports, and that's what makes it so entertaining. Well, all the action is up and coming. We've got some great stuff for you. You won't miss a punch. Let me tell you, you're in for a treat. All the action is next, right here. Martin Raffel against Ryan McCann. The Rebel against Doozy. What a night this is going to be. Time to cross to Big Mo. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Vale Arena here in Cardiff, Wales. For BYB 30, the Cardiff Brawl. Headline by our championship main event featuring two of the best bare knuckle fighters in history. But before we get to our main event, we open with our main card starting in the super middleweight division. Scheduled for five three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Ryan McCann.
then perhaps he should stay back. There's no place there for standing back, is there, this trigon, this mighty trigon ring? Um, yeah, but he wants blood. I and mean, I mean, look at that, look at that, the hand speed of the man. He's going to come out and deliver tonight. Super middleweights in bare knuckle, remember, they're very fast, very powerful. Super middleweight, of course, just under the 12 stone limit. 167 pounds these guys are fighting at. Loves a war, and we are going to get one tonight. He's 2-0. He's 2-0 in bare knuckle boxing. Two great wins against uh, Johnny Lawson and Dean Morris. His brother inspired him when his father passed away. His brother inspired him to get his life right. He's one of many siblings, and he only listens to his brother, who's there with him tonight. Older brother, like a father figure to him. I'm expecting a terrific contest here. Let's, let's get his opponent in the ring. Back to Big Mo. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Martin Rafael. Martin Rafael from Peterborough, known as the Rebel, just loves to fight, loves a war. His wife Sadie is also a bare knuckle fighter, and this guy really is the, the epitome of a front foot fighter. Yeah, coming out to Valhalla is calling. He, he feels the what spiritual warrior of a Viking inside him. Father of six children. Uh, his, as you say, his wife Sadie says she's going to be fighting in the Trigon soon. She's very much a fighter herself. They were bouncing around together. She's in his corner tonight. I can just see her over there. It's going to be a terrific fight, this. He's promising when, blood, isn't when he? When they were sparring with his wife... You're not allowed to say he, this, by he, the way. He dropped her with a body shot. You're not allowed he to say that. He could told us it? in the fighter meeting now, you weren't now, allowed to say I'm that. What I'm saying is, if I was him, I'd check everything he eats that she prepares, because he dropped her. She will get revenge. She is a tough girl. Let's go. <laughs> <think of. laughs> Brilliant. Time to cross the big Ladies and gentlemen, this super middleweight contest is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. A referee in charge when the bell rings, Wayne Spinola. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white and blue trunks with gold trim. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 167.5 pounds. He holds an undefeated bare knuckle record of two victories versus no defeats. And he fights out of Todd Rafael Wales, Ryan Doozy McCann. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks with green and red trim. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 167.1 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of five victories versus two defeats. And he fights out of Peterborough, England, Martin the Rebel Rebel. has got all the ingredients to be the fight of the night or one of many fights of the night because this has got everything from the off these two will be at it and straight away high guard from Rafael as he comes looking he clinches and punches both do got to be careful with that clinching though in that style you've got to hold you can't one hand rattle. round yep. exactly Rafael hunting here Very scrappy to begin with, yeah. both men trying to find ascendancy and find some space. That's a push. And he's literally threw McCann off, didn't he? Yeah, he just shoved him away. But I think the pace is bothering McCann a little bit. Oh, very much so. Uh, neutral corner, the count will take place. Rafael has made some inroads already into McCann, who's, who's feeling a little bit wobbly on his legs, shaking his head. I the referee giving him a chance to just walk a little bit, walk it off. I think the pace that he's fighting at, is, is, I think he wants the box and Rafael says, no, let's have a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Rafael's Terrible. giving him no space at all, working Absolutely. so cleverly on the inside, Tom, he's battering him in here. That was a genuine knockdown. Look at him, he's rearing to go, he wants to get at him, look, look. Look at him dancing around the ring, Rafael, he wants to go, he wants to go for blood. 
weekend's hurt. I'm, I'm, he doesn't know what day it is. Having a, he doesn't know what, doesn't day, know what day it is. It's Sunday or Monday, Tim, right now. Referee having a very close look. Well, the referee's very experienced. Wayne Spinola. Oh, another good shot from Rafael. And another. And an up and then down again. Dominance at the moment from Rafael. Remember clinging the... around with his, with his left hand, creating the clinch and doing amazing work with the right hand, Tom. For those that don't know, three knockdown rule here. Yep. Oh, it's, now it's over. over. Rafael is really one tough guy. Very much so. I th he had his strategy, smothered the space, used his right hand, clinched very well and had McCann in trouble from the very, very outset. Of We've the all heard fighters in our careers that have said, I'll fight anybody. He would fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. Yeah, I really know, want to know what, what he wants to do next. He looks terrific. He's in fantastic physical shape for a 38-year-old. He lives the fight life. He and have his look, wife say he's about. Here we go. Here, there we go. That left hand, left hook did the damage there, McCann didn't know where he was, wasn't happy to really continue, and this is the finish here, isn't it? Left hand's winging in. I think it's a left that finishes it, there you go, a left that puts him down, then right hands as he goes down, terrific action. This is the one. And again, up and under, that under Lovely that uppercut, uppercut, right running. uppercut, yeah. But you know, the pace he couldn't do with the pace, McCann couldn't do with the pace. He was over him like a horrible rash, wasn't he? We're back with the decision after this. We're back after this. Let's cross to Big Mo for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Wayne Spinola calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by knockout, Martin the Rebel Rafael. He looks really happy. Look at him. When you, when you win in that convincing and there's not a mark on you, it's a good night for a fighter. Listen, he goes home to his fighter wife, Sadie, and their six children, and very, very, three boys, three girls, and very, very, I think it's all girls, actually, isn't it? Yeah, Very, it is. very happy man. Um, no damage, he can fight again soon. They're still attending to his opponent, McCann, I must add, by the way, in the uh, neutral corner over there, just to make sure that all is well with him. He doesn't feel very happy. With, sorry, with BYB, paramount importance is the fighter safety. They make sure a fighter is safe, and they will take whatever time is necessary to look after. Ne now, next up for BYB, what a bill they've got in Denver. Have a look at this. BYB Bare Knuckle returns to Denver, Colorado, Saturday, September 21st, for the long-awaited rematch of the 2023 Bare Knuckle Boxing Hall of Fame Fight of the Year in one of the greatest bare knuckle battles to ever take place in the Trigon. As former BYB lightweight champion, Mark the Shark Irwin looks to regain his title against the man who took it from him, Julio Tenori. Plus, BYB women's lightweight champion, Patty Juarez, looks to become BYB's first two division women's champion when she faces Courtney Cameron for the BYB Super Lightweight title. Don't miss these great matchups and much more. Visit BYBExtreme.com for tickets and information. It's BYB, live from Cardiff in the UK. We've got more action to come. Let's cross to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is in the cruiserweight division. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Carl Cray. Carl from Concept, Gateshead, wait, Newcastle. 
making his uh, bare knuckle debut. Fascinating character, this guy, Tom. He's yep. made a promise to a dying man, David Tripp, who was uh, he was best man at David's wedding a couple of years ago. Um, that he'd fight one bare knuckle fight for it. Craig, Craig has opened his own gym. He's got obsessed with fighting. Him and his partner both do it. He says he's he's also representing autism. By the way, he says he has no fear. He's autistic himself. He's autistic himself. He's got absolutely no fear. He showed us before and after pictures of the shape he's got into in the last couple of years. He had a lot of street fights growing up, having said that. But he's a great character, and he may just pull it off tonight against a very very experienced fighter. Let let's get uh, his opponent in the ring. Here's Big Mo. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Jack Marshman. He's got some support. Amateur Larry is his hometown here in Wales, known as the Hammer. He's a former great record MMA, 23 and 10. Cage Warriors former champion, UFC Fight of the Night performance, and that takes some doing, by the way. He's the first Welshman to sign for UFC. Former Bama champion as well, started at 15. I mean, this guy, he's been in the army, he's been in the Paris, he's been fought in Afghanistan, he's been everywhere. And he says it helped to prepare himself. No, listen, I've known Jack Marshman a very long time, over a decade I've known him. He's an absolute warrior, an absolute servant to the British Army as well. Parachute Regiment still works for the army. What people don't know about him, apart from that brilliant MMA record in the UFC and being Cage Warriors champion, he's fought here before, is that he's also boxed a lot as well, and he's a very skilled guy. I see him as a massive favourite in this fight, and if he controls the distance against Carl Craig, who's really a novice fighter in some ways, but not in bare knuckle, this is going to be Marshman's night, and they love him here in Wales. And a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. Indeed, and a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, which let's is very highly decorated, by the way. Let's get the action underway here, Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, this cruiserweight bare knuckle matchup takes place inside BYB Extremes, the mighty Trigon, the smallest surface in combat sports. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with green trim. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 194.6 pounds. Tonight, he makes his bare knuckle debut, and he fights out of Consett, England, Carl One Shot Craig. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 194.2 pounds. Tonight, he makes his bare knuckle debut, and he fights out of Amber Tulare, Wales. Jack Hammer Marshman. There it is. Now, you understandably think he's a red up favorite. However, in beer medical, I've seen it too many times. He's got a puncher's chance. He has, he has got a puncher's chance, as our gate said, man. Jack Marshman's been away for a while. He's been out of the sport a few years as well, at a combat sport, so that might be telling us. Well. Here, Here we go. He does. Straight away working off that jab. Oh, great shot from Craig, uh, Craig there. Little right hander over the top. Oh, he's caught him. Down he goes. That's going right to hook down. from Marshman puts uh, Craig on his backside then. Right counter from Craig as well, twice oh, yeah. there, but he's still fighting on. He's Marshman. No oh! oh! There's that one shot. Boom, boom. The left boom. hook put Marshman down then, Tom. That's like you just said, any one punch can change anything in bare knuckle. That's and he turned, he may have turned the course of this fight that's with that a, left hook. That's a red flag for the favourite Marshman. You can see that Craig's got his mojo now. All he wants to do is get into range and let his hands go. Marshman's mouth bleeding claret right now. Terrific punch from the powerful Craig. He's done it again with another right hand. And Marshman is waddling on his feet here, Tom. Leaning in and trying to use his opponent to stay upright. His legs have gone. Craig needs one punch to finish this, in my view. Well, he's looking... He's, he's being smart here, is Craig. He's hunting him. 
focused again, looking coming forward. He's already got that. Looking at the blood on Marshman's face. He's having a look at that cut, the referee. He might want the doctor to have a look at it. No, nope, fight. He's checking his gun shield was still in there, I think. What a comeback from Marshman, a left-right, sending Craig careering back into his own corner. He's seen stars then, that's for sure. He's shaking his head, trying to get himself focused again. Not seeing well, no, it's over. The referee says no. Well, what, what a dramatic bout. Marshman rescuing that with a, with a left-right. Oh, have a look at this, folks. I mean, both of them put each other down. Well, we've nearly got the upset of the year, then. Well, it would have been. It would have been the upset of the year, no question about it. Great scenes from the crowd there. I think we're going to have a look back at the action in there. A little bit there. of action there. Incredible one round of action there, Tom. It really delivers, doesn't it, Bare Knuckle? Crowd enjoying themselves. Marshman being attended to. Mouth split open. Craig, what a proud warrior he is. Right, let's have a look now. We're back at that action. Here we go. And there goes. There's a great right there from Craig. He loves that overhand right, and there's that little short, sharp right that put him down. There again. Boom. Oh, great that took, shot. That really dropped Marshman heavily, didn't it? And his legs had gone. But, and oh, then a, and that a, was the one. Good yeah, night. A winging right hand that, that really dismayed Craig and put him back in his own corner. Oh, Not there able to is. see. Boom. Wow. That was explosive. The official decision next. First, though, we're back after this. Let's cross to Big Mo for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Andy Albrighton calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by knockout, Jack Hammer Marshman. to talk to Great the winner. here in Cardiff, Jack. Especially your BYB debut. Talk us through it. Yeah, it's a bit of a short of a performance for me. I haven't had a great training camp. I've been in and out of hospital. I've been loads of dramas. Um, I, I haven't trained for the last two weeks solid, but no excuses. He caught me with a pull of a shot. I lifted my head up on the way back out. I felt like I was boxing better than him, but then he caught me with a big one on the back. A bit of a short, so it is what it is, but... I just want to dedicate this fight to Dan Phillips, the same as what Georgie said earlier. Fucking man took his life, he should be here watching tonight, but... Uh, as someone who struggled with mental health fucking really badly myself, I've been in the lowest of the low places. So, believe, believe me, I, won't, I really think if you can just stand out and talk to someone, you'll do better, man. So what happens to get up off the canvas yourself? Yeah, so what are we looking for next with BYB? What are we looking for next from you? I came back in the gym, I sort my shit out because I, I haven't trained for this fight. Um, and that's no excuse and no slagging off me, so... Great performance, yeah, we look forward to seeing you uh, BYB again. All the very best, my friend, well done. Thank you. Well, brilliant stuff. Honesty as well from Jack Marchman. Real honest stuff, hasn't trained. Not been in a good place, but he came in and eventually done the business. Well, he said he'd been very ill, didn't he? Now, next up is Johnny Jones against Joe Fitzpatrick. Have a look at this. Talking to Johnny Triple J Jones. Johnny, fighting in Wales. What are you feeling? Lovely. Nice to have a home crowd behind you, Tom. Rather than travelling up to London. As a young lad, you were? Oh, I was a terrible kid, Tom. No disrespect, I was, I was a naughty kid. How bad? Um, pardon? How bad were you? I was smoking drugs when I was 10 year old up on top of the school roof. Um, 
that's why my mother put a stop to it then, put me in a boxing gym, and that's where I, that turned you I enjoyed it. I was there five days a week. You've been a good man ever since. Tried to be, Tom. <laughs> I tried to be. <laughs> this has changed me, really. Like, before this, I had nothing. I was just coming home from work, stay at home, Dad. Didn't do nothing in the evenings. Now I've got something... you got focus. ...something to focus on. I had pneumonia. Um, come down an hour, I was supposed to fight in Mississippi in um, September. Right. Uh, come down with pneumonia, I had to pull out a week before the fight. Um, and I've been struggling with it since. They put it down as an organised pneumonia where the infection's not, the infection's still there, yeah. but there's nothing flaring up, no inflammation of the lung. It's controlled. It's, it was controlled, but obviously it's something a little then would trigger it. So as soon as I went back to the gym, they started, started to flare again. back up. But obviously I had a seven month course of steroids. Um, obviously putting his lone chest steroids just to get over that. And touch wood, we're over it. You're okay. We're over it. Did that suit you, the Trigon? I loved it, like you say, it's no way to go for, for a boxer. Like you say, I showed in the last fight to Cal Nali that I can box. Um, and the fight before that, I showed that I can brawl. So we got a bit of everything. And and the cardiac brawl, that's what it's about. It's, 100%. You know, you're not going to, it's all running in there. Tell us a little bit about your opponent. What do you know about uh, Joe? Um, I know he's a tough boy. I know I watched his first fight live with Liam Rocky Reese. And then he stopped Ash Williams. Mm. So, like you say, he's no mug. Commonwealth silver medalist, boxing skills, yeah, yeah, pro boxer. He's 10 and 1 in boxing. Yep. He's, like you say, he's no stepping stone. Um, he's a good operator. For me personally, I don't think he's got the art of being there for five rounds once, once he starts feeling the pressure. Um, and that's not me being big headed. I honestly don't think that he's got it inside to stay inside. What a fight this is going to be. You've just heard from the man himself, Johnny Jones. This is going to be a real top fight. Two tough guys. Don't blink. This is going to be one hell of a scrap from both guys. We're back after this. Next up. Johnny Jones against Joe Fitzpatrick. Let's get him into the ring for the action. Here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest for BYB 30, the Cardiff Brawl, is five three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Joe Fitzpatrick. Joe from Belfast, Northern Ireland. He knows all the troubles, seen all the troubles there, so fighting in the Trigon is not a problem for him. He has been one hell of a, a glove pro as well. Ten and one, you heard Big Mo tell us. Silver medal in the Commonwealth Games, known as the Dragon. This is a tough, tough guy who's been through it all in the streets of Belfast. His baptism to bare knuckle, of course. Um, he, he took a little bit of adjusting, but now he's adjusted in his last fight where he beat Sam uh, Jack Sheedy. was absolutely amazing. He's adapted to it well, and he could cause a surprise. Will he cause a surprise tonight? Who knows, because he's up against one of Wales' finest. Calls himself the Dragon, I love that, coming into the, the, the country of dragons and wizards. And he will need to produce a performance of magic tonight. Very proud man, tall fighter. I love the fact that we've got the Celts against each other tonight in one of the bouts. Northern Ireland against Wales, both fighting nations. He looks primed and ready and in terrific shape. Look at that, bursting into his ring, canvas corner, ready to rock. Let's cross to Big Mo and get Johnny Jones into the ring. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Johnny Jones. You hear the crowd there, a very, very popular fighter, Triple J himself. And a lot of fights as an amateur in glove boxing, 43 and 6 there, comes from a family of boxers says he was always getting arrested for fighting, now he gets paid to fight and he loves it. Very long amateur career, by the way, 49 amateur bouts as a boxer, 43 wins. This is a hobby. I mean, what man tells you bare-knuckle fighting is a hobby for him? Absolutely. 
Here we go, the atmosphere's building here now in this amazing Vail Center. They're singing him into the ring. This is the, what we were waiting for tonight. The atmosphere is coruscating in here, Tom. That means sparkling. Exactly. So why not say sparkling? Why use the big words? You're on BYB. I'm a multi-syllable wizard with sake. words. I'm from Wales. I'm inspired by the bare knuckle fighting tonight, this my is, friends. This is another fight that has got all the ingredients. Johnny Jones is a very popular fighter. You can see the crowd backing him with, singing him into the ring. Look at that, they love it. They absolutely love it. And everybody in this arena would love to have the you-know-whats to get in there, and not, not many of them would have. The cojones, if the they cojones. can move into Spanish to describe it. Absolutely. You need to be special sort of toughness to get into this ring. I like the look of the focus of his opponent from Belfast, and here he comes, though. He's been very confident speaking to us all week, says he's going to do a job, and walk home with all his fans behind him. But the, no mistake about it, Johnny Jones is not only a good bare knuckle fighter, he's also a very good boxer. But the pedigree of the Northern Ireland lad is very, very good. Well, you know, when you won a silver medal in the Commonwealth Games, I know it was 10 years ago, but it's very, very formidable. He was a 19-year-old then. It's going to be a great fight. Absolutely. Here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, this welterweight contest is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Clive Allison. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with blue trim. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 145 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of two victories versus just one defeat. And he fights out of Divis, Ireland. Introducing Joe Dragon. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the purple trunks with gold and black trim. He stands five feet, ten inches tall. He weighed in at 146.8 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of three victories versus just one defeat. And he fights out of Nancy Ball Wales, introducing Johnny Triple J. No question who the crowd are behind in this one. They're back in the local guy big time. Johnny Jones, a very popular man around these parts as well. Interestingly, Tom, that uh, Fitzpatrick starting in the southpaw stance, even though he's sat here, he is an orthodox fighter. They, they both go at it terrifically from the opening bell. Exchanges as they clinch. And Fitzpatrick forcing Jones back against his own corner and into the ring cushion, or the tri trigon cushion. Great left hand from Fitzpatrick. Great clinch going on here at the moment. Great work and so thrilling. Straight away, Jones wants to get it on. Swings wildly, but so does Fitzpatrick. I think the trigon suits them both. The clinch suits them both. They wanted a brawl and they've got it. And turned, bringing... him, turned him well then did Fitzpatrick, John. And they're Tom. bringing the brawl to the ring. Just look at Jones there. Jones wants to... Oh! Good shot. Terrific uppercut from Fitzpatrick from range. Bit of grappling there. It's more grappling than clinching at the moment, isn't it? It is. There's not a proper clinch and punch. He wants to get it on. Look. Someone's cut. Yeah, the right eye of Jones he can't, looks yeah, terrible. Just have a look on the screen there. He can't, can't see. see out of the right eye at the moment. The and referee showing blow. great concern. But Fitzpatrick just is so pumped full of adrenaline, he just wants to get at him and finish I think it. His, his footwork and speed are terrific. He has looked the more adept fighter. Well, he's a great fighter, he's got a pedigree. But I wasn't sure how he'd adapt to the, adapt to the trigon and the clean, he's adopted brilliantly. He's got beautiful footwork. Yep. And he's adopted, like you say, he's adapted his boxing yep. he's to, so, to, um, to uh, bare knuckle fighting. Oh, what a t it wasn't yeah. a brilliant left yeah. hook that hit the chin. There we are, there we go. Oh, oh. Jones, wasn't it? Brilliant Absolutely. left hook. Left hook come up and cut. Oh, they're carrying on. And he can't wait. Fitzpatrick, he wants to go after it. 
and Fitzpatrick comes feeling good movement in his feet, he's light on his feet. Jones, Jones doing Hail Marys with his left hands now trying to get back and he's caught again and he's caught by Fitzpatrick. Up. Brilliant counters off the ropes by Jones though, Tom. Jones there battling away, both under battling pressure. Away. Both battling away. Both men under huge pressure at the moment as they take turns Great to counter shots. each other. Terrific fight. Claret seeping down the right cheek of Jones. It's a fantastic, thrilling bout. You cannot blink, it could end at any moment. Lovely uppercuts again from Fitzpatrick, left and right hands. Fitzpatrick drops his hands there and comes looking forward. He might have thought it was all over earlier, but now he's got—he knows he's got a fight on his hands as Jones shows that true Welsh grit and comes back, but he gets him pinned into the Trigon corner. I, but I like the fact that Fitzpatrick's letting his hands down now and doing it from range because he's just looking for that finishing punch. Might be dangerous, but I think it's a great effective strategy if he doesn't get caught coming in. Who turned his back there and the referee yeah, wanted it on. Nice. They're both look. I mean, Jones looks really tired, but he's messed up his face. And that must be a problem. His eyes not being able to see the blood seeping in. There's moments when problem. Jones looks very, very dispirited, Tom. He walked away with his back to Fitzpatrick at one point, but then suddenly he finds that warrior spirit again. Yeah. Huge oh, winning shot. left and right hands that he's missing with. He's coming back. This is incredible action. Jones. So dangerous moments for both men, Tom. Jones showing great grit and determination. Never knows when he's beaten. And look at the hands down for Fitzpatrick, waiting for his man to make a move. That's what I was saying, that he, he, he enjoyed those moments where he could see his opponents hurt. And from distance, from the far range, he's got his hands down, that's he's waiting why, to attack. That's why I call it chess with violence. Who won that round? Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Me. I call it chess with violence, and I think that's because what you do is you try to make your opponent make mistakes, so you capitalise them, and he does it brilliantly. Fitzpatrick. Well, that was thrilling. I'm 180 seconds of my life that I would watch again a hundred times. That was extraordinary. Brilliant stuff from two guys, two warriors. And Jones having a, he got, I don't know if it didn't continue. I'm Just sure when he, you think on, that Fitzpatrick's on, about to sure dominate. That there's a lot of conversations going on in his corner with the referee. No, it's over, she, the cop man said, the cop woman says it's not going to continue, we'll see. It's over, yeah. yes, it's over. Jones has retired, cut. Fitzpatrick shouting over the ropes. It's the first words we've heard of him. He's a very quiet man, lets his fists do the talking, but I think, you know, the cut's so bad on Jones that he really can't carry on. He's having problems seeing out of his right eye. That's, a, that's what I was trying to say at the start. He's adapting from boxing to bare knuckle, and he's bringing the boxing talent to bare knuckle. And he could be a formidable opponent for anybody, Joe Fitzpatrick. Very, very skillful. Yeah. Jones had his moments in that round as well. Um, there were times when well, he's, he's, Look at his face, though. He, he, they've just shown us the close-up. He's, he's been hit. Let's go to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Clive Allison calls a stop to this contest at the end of the first round. Declaring your winner by TKO by a corner retirement, Joe Dragon Fitzpatrick. Well, Robin Reed will be speaking to the winner in a moment or two. Let's cross to Robin Reed. Yes, Joe, another great uh, fight here in Cardiff for the five fans. Talk us through it, Joe. Oh, I've enjoyed the whole fight. I fought from the first bell, I had control of the fight. I caught him with a crack and uppercut. He got to finish him off. I mean, and that was the first round. It seemed like a grueling first round for what we saw of it. I mean, what have you been working on in the gym? Oh, I haven't so. It's mostly my fitness. I know I've got uh, the talent out there. Uh, I think I'm the best in this division in the whole world. 
and that's your that's your BYB debut. You know what you're looking to you know where you're looking to go in the uh, in the BYB uh, BYB uh, ring. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting over to America, find a couple of diamonds. Definitely. Any other big names out there? Nah, not really. Anyone at all. Talk us through it. Talk us through it. Oh. Hectic going on in that first round. It was all going non-stop. I knew it was going to be a good. I just trained on the gym. So, like you say, what are we looking forward to next? Anything at all. Just give me a shout. It's got my number, so... Any names out there? Anybody at all. Anyone at all? <laughs> Anybody at all. It was a great fight. Um, great win. We're looking forward to seeing you again on BYB. Yeah, congratulations. Look forward to seeing you again. Yes, thanks very much. There you go. What a fight by Joe Fitzpatrick. Johnny Jones will recover. He will recover, Johnny Jones. He will be back. He's got more than enough confidence, more than enough ability. We're back after this. It's BYB in Cardiff, the Cardiff Brawl, and we have had one hell of a night so far. And there's more to come, even better to come if that's possible. But what a fight we've got now. We've got Dorian Darch against Vladimir Skirtu. This is another real top battle. A bridger weight as well, which is almost super cruiser, but it's almost super cruiser, but it's bridger weight. These two guys are really tough. Have a look at this. Talking to Dorian Dark Fruits Darch. And before we start, Dark Fruits, tell the viewers what that's all about. I got a love for Strongbow Dark Fruit Cider. It's, it's one of my. Uh... Why am I not surprised? No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> simple so as my it's head. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it? simple as that. So before we get into your uh, fight, up and coming fight yeah. at BYB 13, the Mighty Trigon, the last two fights, you lost both, but you must have been really. I suppose disappointed seems yeah, the wrong word. But frustrating. Yeah, it, frustrating. It? Yeah. Because both of them, you were you were in good form. Yeah, up on points in both of them, just cut. But as part of the games, you just got to accept. You know what I mean? You're fighting with no gloves on, you're going to get cut. And sadly, I've got uh, pit skin like tracing paper, so I had to cut. And I've got a very good defence, so I'm hoping to improve <laughs> on that a bit this time. You don't want to lose a fight on a cut. Especially when you're ahead, you know, a million miles ahead, but he was ahead. The cuts, though, you've still got the scars. Yeah. Is there a danger they can open again? That's uh, just a risk i got to take, and it's nothing I can do about it. It's nothing you can do about a cut or open back up, so... Because I remember your first fight way, way back in lockdown. Yeah, Mason um, Shaw, yeah. That's right, in lock the Mason Shaw. For two guys who both weighed in at 16 stone two. Oh, oh good, yeah. good good shot. Good shot again. And again. Oh, oh, what a shot. Oh. Boom. So things look good for you then after yeah. a good win against a tough guy, and then... Yeah. Two disappointing defeats. You could do the yeah. win, couldn't you? Yeah, I could. Now, if I don't win this next fight, now that's it for me. I think so. It's the end of the line. Forty years of age. No more room for many more scars. What do you know about your opponent? Uh, people are going to think. Oh, people are going to look at his record and say, "Oh, he's only fought. He fought Carmel. He got stopped." But I know how much of a monster Carmel Sokolowski is. I've, I've sparred him. He's a lovely bloke. But the man is an animal, and he's going to take some beating and beat baby. I'm going to buy a ticket to watch Dorian Dart fight. And BYB 30. Why should I buy that ticket? Tell me what I'm going to get. What can I expect to see? Blood, you? probably from me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I, I'll never give up. I'll always have a go on it. And I, if I go out, it'll probably be on cuts because I've never been knocked out. You know what I mean? I'll fight till the end. This is. And absolutely is Dorian Darch, your favourite in glove boxings for Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois against the Ukrainian Vladimir Skurtu at Bridgerweight. Well, that's a super cruiser almost, but let's get the action underway with Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest here for BYB 30, the Cardiff Brawl, is scheduled for five three minute rounds in the Bridgerweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Volodymyr Skirtu.
fascinating character, this Tom. Doesn't speak a lot of English. He's 4 0 in K1. Absolutely. Um, Ukrainas, Slava Ukraini, we've been saying to him all week. A lot of Ukrainian fighters fighting all over the world, very proudly representing their nation at the moment. And he told me that he wants to be in bare knuckle what Vasil Lomachenko and Alexander Usyk are in glove boxing. But to be, but to, to be honest, he was knocked out easily in his last fight against by, Sokolovsky. By yeah. again, Kamil Sokolovsky, who, who again, I'm tipping to be a world champion. He's a warrior, Sokolovsky. Right. It's no He'll be a shame world champion. losing to Sokolovsky. But it wasn't that he got beat, it was how easy he was beat. There was yeah. no defence whatsoever. He actually, he could, I think Skirtu could actually paint a target on his face. Because. <laughs> You're a very unkind no, man. I'm just saying. You're being honest about him. I'm That's right, he's a target. Because he's a tough guy, but what he has to be better at is making sure you don't get hit. Exactly. You know? Well, Darch has got to do the same tonight because he cut so easily, as he said. He's That's got face like Papier Maché. Let's get Dorian into the ring. Here's Big Mo. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Dorian. Darch! One of the favourites with the Welsh crowd, Tom. I mean, he's been had a great, he's been a great servant to British boxing. He's fought the likes of, as I say, Anthony Joshua and Daniel Duwell, the biggest names in heavyweight boxing. I love the fact he's fighting at Bridgeweight, 200 to 224 pounds. It's the 18th weight division, only the WBC, the World Boxing Council, have a bridge away champion. At the moment, it's Lawrence Sicoli. What I love about him is, he says, I said, what style are you? He said, I'm a boxer, till the bell goes. <laughs> so, whatever plan he goes into the ring with, when the bell goes, that goes out the window. Do you know what's been great for him in bare knuckle as well? At the age of 40, he's in the best shape I've ever seen him. He's not drinking now. It's got him massively motivated. There's something about the ancient primeval ways that get these guys on target. The worry, the worry, the big, big worry for me is he cuts easy. Yeah, exactly. Now, if Skirtu realises that, if he's planned for that, if he's planned to open up one of the old scars, well, it, it, I could have it totally wrong. But, but he's, he's focused. Crowd. Darch has been in with the best. Crowd loving the man from Aberdare here, who's having his hands checked now by the refereeing official. What I love about him as well is that he said, you know what, if I can't get the job done tonight, it might be curtains for me, but I think he'll be tempted back. Have a look at this, folks. Massive reach advantage for Darch. And, and, a, and a height one, uh, an inch is the, you know, there, but that reach could be quite substantial. Yeah, and ignore the uh, the age differential. Skirtu's not as experienced as Darch, but Darch is a guy who's rejuvenated. He's having his second youth at 40. Says he feels better than he ever has before. He's got to get the job done tonight. So you know, at 40, at 40, you lose, it could be over. Let's get a big mo. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest. He's scheduled for five three-minute rounds in BYB's Bridgerweight division. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed at 221.5 pounds. He is a veteran of one professional bare-knuckle bout, and he fights out of Chernobyce, Ukraine. Introducing Volodymyr Skirtu. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the purple trunks with white trim. He stands six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 222.7 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of two victories versus three defeats. And he fights out of Aberdare, Wales, Dorian Dark Fruits Dodge. Our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola. You heard the applause then for Dorian Dodge. This crowd are well behind him. Well, he's a minus 251 favourite on the odds. You can see there on the screen as well, so he's expected to win this. Well, will the cuts defeat him? Because if he stays uncut, he'll be skirted. But that's the big question. I've always felt with Skirtu, though, he looks neat and compact. Good stance, good hands up. Oh, oh lovely right shot. hand from Darch there, and talking his body through the punch. 
both men feeling each other out here a little bit, kind of trying to close the distance. Oh, Lovely another, jab. Another, another great straight there from Dutch. He looks focused, Dutch. Picking his punches, not, not the frenetic. Oh! oh there you go. There Terrific the, straight look right Look at Dutch telling him to get up. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Look at him, he wants him to get up, he wants him to finish it. Well, let's see if Skirtu's got legs. He's struggling a little he looks bit. A bit. He looks a bit all over the place to me. Look. Oh, dear. He wants to finish it, look. If Darts is in this mood, there ain't many going to stop him. Skirtu still throwing, though. And yeah. a nice right hand to the side of the... Left-hand side of the head of Darts and a right to Darts' body, Tom. Of all the fights we've seen, they've been frenetic, they've been brawling, they've been clinching, they've been... This is not... This is more... This is a duel. Yeah, a, this a, is a, a one-punch shootout time. They haven't clinched it at all. Darch cut very badly around oh, his left ear, straight, by the way. Ooh, then he's tagged him again. His left ear is sliced open by a punch. To be fair, that won't bother him, though. Claret painting his chest from his ear at the moment. The referee's getting a look, look at this. It's really ripped open, that left ear of his, by the way. It'd be such a travesty if it was stopped oh, he, on He's his. on top. I do fear for him here, Tom. It's a big cut on his ear, very dangerous cut. Because that can rip his ear right open from there. The doctor's shaking his head, you know. No, no, he stopped it, I think. He, he said yeah, to the... Yeah, very unfortunate. That's a, that is a terrible way to lose a it's fight. A, it's, a, it's an absolute travesty oh, no. for Dodge. Absolute, but his left ear is cut down the middle like a butcher's knife's been taken to it. I mean... Skirtu's loving it, and rightly so, he's, he's got the decision. But he has, he's got the decision, but hasn't won the fight. Yeah, and it's going to put Darch out for a while with that cut, because it's going to require stitches. Skirtu having a great celebration, but I do feel Darch was very much on top during that fight. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's got the decision, but hasn't won the fight, if that makes sense. Well, his... De it won let, 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 well, we'll... Let's we'll, have a we'll look have at a this. Look at how that was cut, then. Boom! Fantastic that was a great right. shot, that right. There's the right hand again. This is the cut. It's the right hand again. Now, have a look at this. Oh, oh it just it sliced wasn't over his ear. It wasn't a cut. The, 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 the wraps have ripped his ear. Exactly. The wrap... they, they slid over his left yeah, ear and slid cut over them over him. Yeah, That's... yeah. That's not a punch. It's almost like a graze, isn't it? You know, grazing punch. You know what? If I was in charge, that would be a no contest for me. But I'm not. Let's cross, I think, for the official decision in a moment. Just look at this. Let's go to Big Mo. Very be right back with that big decision next. Official decision. Here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Spinola calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 46 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by a doctor stoppage, Vladimir Skirtu. If it's a punch and he cuts him, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Right, but when it's that, when it just don't sit easy with me. Very unfortunate, don't very unusual as well, you know. But these things do happen. This is the fight game. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, good point. Well, Darch is just signaling to the crowd, saying thank you to the crowd. He's got it. I'd like to know. Obviously, Skirtu doesn't speak great English, but I'd like to know whether Dorian's going to call it a day or not now. I think, I think if he was well beaten, he would, but he hasn't been well beaten. No, no he was on top. He, he might want to come back and say, listen, I owe, I owe somebody something here. I, I think he might fancy a rematch. Exactly, and I wasn't sure how much Skirtu had left after that. Well, well, the, the action, the drama, it all keeps coming. Now, one of my favourite fighters and one of the ones I think is going to be a massive, massive star for BYB is Gareth Williams. Have a look at this. 
Why bare knuckle? It just feels more raw. Like I, I've always, I've always enjoyed boxing, and like I said, with the MMA, it was smaller gloves, and it just felt more raw, more of a real fight. Same as this now, it's, it's more, it's more real. It's more of a real fight than. Don't get me wrong, boxing is a, is a class art, and, and this is the same type of thing, but more raw. It's more real. It's more Your first bare knuckle, Paul Hills. Let's be honest. Most people fancied Paul to win the fight. Yeah, everybody was. Uh, that, you know, everybody we, was running me off for that fight, and everybody was thinking that I was coming in to, to lose that fight. But I knew when I was gonna. Like I said, a couple of times now, I, in my head, I'm already there. I'm already. I'm already up there. You know, I'm already up there. I just need to show everybody that that's where I, where I am. I think that's where I belong. And like, I'm showing it now. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. when, when in the last fight, I knew. I knew I was capable of, of stopping him. If I carry on doing what I'm doing, there's no reason why I can't be at the top. Like I said, in my head, I'm already at the top. Do you have something that drives you on? Like, it wasn't too long ago. Like I did, like I said, I'd done a podcast where um, I, try, I tried taking my own life. And um, it was at that moment and it was at that time where I, I did a 180 turn and I was just like, I need to change, I need to change my habits, I need to change my ways. That was and the lowest point of your life. That was the lowest point of my life, and um, I switched around, cut drink, cut drink out of my life. Once I started training, then it gave me that fire then to fight again. And, and like I said, once I, once I wanted to do any sort of fight, then it was the bare knuckle that I wanted to do then. What do you know about your opponent, Nathan Lassie? I know he's quite tough. Um, he's durable. Yeah, he's a durable guy. I, I, I've seen I've seen a couple of his fights, and like he is quite durable. Like, I see him again. I just I can't see it going past two rounds. Two rounds. Yeah. Have a prediction? I, I I it may be the first round, but I, I'm confident it won't go past two. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm I'm, go, I'm I'm coming. I'm like they, they're all gonna know soon. Well, the action, the drama-filled night it's been here in Wales, in Cardiff, in the capital of Wales, for BYB, the Cardiff Brawl. And more to come. Great fight up and coming. Here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move to the light heavyweight division here for BYB 30, the Cardiff Brawl. It is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, Finding out of the blue corner, please welcome to the Trigon, Nathan Massey. Oh yeah. Nah, it feels so right. Come on. Rich quick. Nate Dog. Great character, Nathan Massey, Tom, the black dog. Yeah. Yeah, I've known him well, So, uh, looking forward to this bout, tremendously, Gachi Gareth Williams. There you go, Nathan Massey in the ring. Let's get a big mo and get his opponent, Gareth Williams, into the ring. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Gareth Williams. Gareth Williams. 
a favourite of Wales. Gatti is his nickname, but there's no reason to it. He was just called that, as everybody in Wales, I think, was called Gareth is a Gatti. But he absolutely sparked Paul Hills in the uh, previous show we had on, if you remember. Pro MMA, six and five, boxers and amateur for Wales. And he fights for everybody who struggles mentally. Tried to commit suicide, this guy has been there and back. He's got an amazing backstory, he's an extraordinarily inspirational character. He's been to the brink in life and come back. He's got an incredible confidence on him that I would say borders on arrogance, but the kind of arrogance you need if you're going to go all the way and be a champion. He's got massive following in here tonight, big favourite in Wales. There's a big difference between confident and arrogant. Arrogant is when you can't back it up. This guy's confident because he's got can't back it up. He comes across as arrogant, but in the right way to me. That's what I'm saying. He's got a swag about him that I love, and he's going to go out there and prove it tonight. He has got a in swag. a very tough bout. He was. He's, he really has got something special, Gareth, and he's trained hard for this as well. You can see he's in great shape. Just having a look now in his corner. Who's in his corner? Let's have a little look. Let's cross the big mo to get it underway. Ladies and gentlemen, this light heavyweight contest is scheduled for five three-minute rounds taking place inside the smallest surface in combat sports, the mighty Trigon. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks with gold trim, he stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 169 pounds. He is the veteran of two professional bare knuckle contests and he fights out of Wolverhampton, England, introducing Nathan Black Gypsy Massey. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 169.7 pounds. He holds an undefeated bare knuckle record of two victories versus no defeats. And he fights out of Gwent, Wales, introducing Gareth Gatchy Williams. This could be decided on punching power, and I think Gareth Williams has got it. Well, he's a big favorite, minus 365 underdog, as we've seen on the uh, uh, favorite, as we've just seen on the screen. Looks very, very focused. I think Massey will try and move and Williams will attack. I think, but it's a small ring to Absolutely. move Absolutely. It's a tiny trigon in front of us. Here we go, Tom. Here we go. Looking forward to this. Business end. Nathan, a very technical glove boxer. But Gareth comes hunting. Big right. Already right tagged right. him. Yeah. Oh, great body shot as well. Oh, boom. He's too open. Nathan has to defend a bit better. Gatchi landing already with some yeah. power shots, but Massey really returning some fire himself as well, as Gatchi leaves himself open to the counters. Gatchi wants a brawl, doesn't Look he? And Massey wants punches. To... Yeah, yeah. They don't Terrific have... there shot. There you go. There you go, boom. I was thinking Nathan's punches don't have. Then there's no conviction in them. Does that make sense? No, there's I no... think, yeah, he's not a power puncher, he's an artist, he's a dancer. Gatchi hurting him, him going down, then he got up very quickly, didn't take time to recover, and Gatchi on the hunt now, like a predator, but caught on the counter. Uh, straight, oh, through again, straight through from Gareth, straight down the middle. Williams cut by the left eye, by the way. We've seen the damage cuts can do tonight and how it can affect the outcome of the bout. Oh, lovely left hook from Massey there. But untroubled Williams as he comes hunting. Great shot again. There's right hand put him down again then, Tom. What, what Massey did, which I find strange, he turned his face away. He did. And when you turn your face away, you're inviting trouble. No, he is in trouble. That's the right word right now. Gatchi trouble Williams right now as they touch fists, of course, before they go. And, oh, oh, a beautiful jab, jab drops him. Worked off the jab. Didn't need. Oh, the towel comes in. It's over. Yeah, the towels come in from Massey's corner and very popular winner here. He's told us he's going on. He's, they're all chasing him, he's told us. He's on his way to be a world champion. I wonder who told you that. 
Gachi himself. No, I told you. World champion. Gachi's, I know I don't disagree with you. He's, he's going to be a world champion. You spot it easy when you see these guys and you talk to them. You've seen enough of them to know. Yeah, absolutely right. He's got that something. That's why I use that word arrogance in the right way. When, when Nathan was fighting then, he was swinging and throwing without any conviction. Like, I'm going through the motions here because I know I'm not going to win. That's how it looked to me. Different levels, Tom. It always comes to different levels. Right hand to the body and a beautiful yeah. left hand. And... Turned his head away again and got tagged. Yeah. Yeah. Sways with the body very well, yeah. Williams as well. Just too good. Different levels. That's the key. There we go. Stop. I mean, jab, jab to finish it. Now in glove, that would be nothing. Here, boom, you're gone. Straight down the middle. We've got the official decision to come next here. BYB. So now, great camaraderie, great sportsmanship. A lot of people think it's nonsense here, but these guys respect each other. Let's cross to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andy Albright and calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 48 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by a corner retirement and still undefeated, Gareth Gatchi Williams! Robin Reed will be speaking to the main man. Terrific victory for Gatchy Williams. Unbelievable. Very, very popular guy in here tonight. And, you know, there's no arrogance, with all due respect. <laughs> when you talk to him, there's no arrogance. Let's cross to Robin well, now. Gareth, another great... Well, Gareth, another great win here in Wales. Uh, three knockdowns in the first round. You talk us through the fight. To be honest with you, I'm not just going to say I thought that was quite a shit performance for me. Um, I, I, I overthought it a bit too much for the boxing because uh, it was probably the size of this. You know what I mean, everybody thought it would have went in my went in my favour for how small it was. But uh, well, obviously it did because I've got the win. But I just wanted my boxing to be a bit more cleaner and a bit more smoother. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, I get what you're saying, but don't put yourself too down. Three knockdowns in the first round. It's not bad, but it's good to see that you're not, no, no, not pleased with yourself. So, what are we looking to next? Oh, anybody. Anybody? No names out there? No names out there? No, I'm not going to call no names. At the end of the day, Jim and Joe is going to match me with who they think they're going to match me with. And... Well, great performance. You know, great to have you here in Wells again. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. All the very best, my friend. Thank you. I thought he was anything but arrogant there. I was not very good, I was not good enough. That's not arrogant, what are you talking about? I thought it was a terrific performance. Correct. Uh, absolutely terrific, but what I like about it is he's saying there's so much more in me. I've got so much more to come, there's so much better to come. Absolutely. Jim and Joe and BYB Extreme are going to match him in some huge fights to come, I believe. You've just summed it up, doesn't sound very arrogant. I'm going to have you for that. He <laughs> says they're all chasing him, which is fair <laughs> enough. He wants to believe they're chasing him. Well, that's fine with me. If I just think there's an air of arrogance Listen, I like about the don't man. Don't worry, you can always be wrong. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry about the word arrogant. event and what a fight it will be Daniel Lewis such a popular guy here let's go to Big Mo to get these guys into the ring ladies and gentlemen it is now time for our co-main event of the evening five three minute rounds in the cruiserweight division introducing first fighting out of the blue corner please welcome to the Trigon David Kennelly
David Calvary take the fight very, very late from Birkenhead. He's unlicensed glove fighter, pro glove, four, one and one, one no contest, and one amateur MMA loss from Birkenhead. No, nothing to lose for him tonight. Works, uh, obviously, in the shipyard, a very tough guy. He says he's got nothing to lose. He's always in shape. Loves a brawl, and he's got to turn it into a brawl. Get on the inside tonight. He'll be a massive underdog in this fight. As I say, late replacement. Drops his steals, if you like. Got him work himself down here. From Fake Birkenhead, the offers inside to Liverpool on the Mersey. Let's cross back to Big Mo. And his opponent firing out of the red corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Daniel Lurwell. Big moment for this guy. Massive crowd support here for Daniel Lowe. A very tough man, very proud Welshman, Tom. Um, 100%, and he makes it clear. And he's, in a, he's a veteran in bare knuckle as well. That's the thing, they love him for that reason. Look at him milking it up. Well, he said to me his strengths are power and good looks. Yeah, he's not far <laughs> off, but hopefully he'll have his looks still intact by the end of this bout. By the way, trained by Enzo Macronelli. Great Indeed, fighter. great fighter for David Hay. Got the yep. biggest dig on him, and, and Lowell telling me that, God forbid, if Enzo Mack, who's in his 40s now, ever stepped into a BYB extreme trigon, did you? We did ask him. But one of the biggest punches I've ever seen, pound for yeah. pound. Yeah, we did ask him. I've asked a few, but just didn't fancy it at the time. Or maybe the cabbage wasn't green enough. <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. So to speak. The greenbacks. But this guy, if you mentioned talk, BYB to him, he says, I'm not interested in titles, I'm not interested in belts, I'm interested in raising awareness for autism. He has an autistic son who he adores yeah. and looks after. And, you know, I respect the man immensely. He's also coming out to a man I respect immensely, White Snake. Here yeah. we go again, bearing the proud red colours of Wales, being a dragon in the Trigon himself. It's going to be a great moment for him as he steps into the ropes, inside the ropes, on this incredible triangular combat sphere. We have the best seat in the house right now. What an honor it's been tonight, Tom. Absolutely, and by the way, you look at him, he's always smiling, he's never too serious. And now he's in the shape. You should have seen his first fight. He looked like me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Let's cross the big Mo. Oh, no, before we cross the Big Mo, have a look at this. There you go. Close, very, very close, everything. Height is for Lowell, though. That could be a real problem for Calvary. But he's got to get on the inside, he's got to get his head on Lowell's chest and let his hands go. As you know, one punch could change anything in this fight. We've just seen that. But we have indeed, but Lowell is a big, big favourite. They're dancing in the valleys tonight if he wins. Here's Big Mo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our co-main event of the evening. Five three-minute rounds in BYB's cruiserweight division. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Clive Allison. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white, black, and blue trunks. He stands five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at 187 pounds. Tonight, he makes his bare knuckle debut, and he fights out of Birkenhead, England, David Cavalli. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red, green, and white trunks, he stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 192.4 pounds. He holds a bare knuckle record of eight victories versus three defeats, with seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Swansea, Wales, Daniel Lionheart Lewis. Wow, the cheer for him then was amazing. Huge support in the arena for him. Big, big favourite here. He can and land a punch, he knocks gonna, him out for fun. This is going to be a very, very fast assault, I believe, on Calvary from Dan Lowell. But anything can happen. Former MMA as well, by the way. 
No, well, he's been there and done it all, all sorts of disciplines. Oh! Three-punch combination, left, right, left, and it's all over, or right, left, left. He might not right. get up from now. I don't think he will. I think he's very, very stunned. He's being counted out here. No, I don't believe he should. He, he, look at his it eyes. does not look right to me. No, They're... good call by the referee. Very good call, Tom. That might be the quickest knockout in history. Probably, but must be about five, six, seven seconds, certainly under ten seconds, I'd say. I'd like to check that if we can. That's, that is certainly, what, five seconds or thereabouts. They lined him up and he put him away with three punches. He was gone. Lerwell lurches on with his bare, bare knuckles to another brutal fight in the future. I'd like to see him take on a few of those Americans, by the way. Well, you don't get a paid for overtime, do you? No. no <laughs> that, that was the that was the pre that was the absolute epitome of not getting paid for overtime. <laughs> Straight out the door. Thank you. But he, milky bars were on him tonight. He would like, you know, fight one because BYB had some amazing fighters, and to see him pitched against one of those would be amazing. Oh, no, Lowell's just projected himself, I think, to headline events here in the UK, potential fights, fair, co main events in five America seconds. as well. He shouldn't take the money. He should add uh, it back. Uh, easy. He now. should add it back. We'll be going to Big Mo after this. for the official decision. Here's the main man, Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Clive Allison calls a stop to this contest at 22 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Daniel Worth pointing out as well. Yes, well done. That was another quick win. Uh, first, uh, first round KO here in Wales. Uh, were you going for the quickest win? Yeah, well, I got, I got to say something. Um, I want to thank Carl for coming down. He jumped on a train yesterday, come straight down to fight. JK, you fucking faggot, where are you? Didn't turn up. Train for eight weeks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, mate. It's not <laughs> Yes, Dan, well, that was another first round KO here in Wales. Um, I mean, could you have done it any quicker? It looks like you were going for the quickest KO tonight. We don't get paid all the time, Rob. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to say thank you for him coming down. He came down from Liverpool to train yesterday to fight because that faggot Jay Kerr didn't turn up. Um, I know he trained for a fight, so why he didn't turn up, I don't know. I mean, that was, that's great respect for your opponent, understanding that, like, you know, he's made it last minute. You know, what, what are we looking for next, Dan? Um, I'm just not going to fight, to be honest with you, Rob. Um, perhaps go back to America, fight Cub Hawkins again. Um, there's a lot of fights there now in BYB, so it's, it's going it's to be good. Yeah, and it's a great platform, you know, but plenty of opponents out there. Yeah. Uh, it'd be good to see, you know, looking for more titles as well. Yeah, yeah looking for more titles, um, more fights, better fights. I always want to fight the best, so that's, that's what I want. And it's always great to fight in front of your home crowd as well in Wales, yeah? Any message for them? Thank you, Ivan, for both tickets. Thank you for support. Wills, lift the roof off, thank you. Yeah, that's great to hear, to hear. We look forward to seeing you again, Dan. All the very best, my friend. Thank you. Dan Lerwell, of course, and it, yes, David Calvary took the tell. Calvary took the fight very, very late indeed. And I think that's to his credit, but you heard Dan Lerwell, he's thrown out the challenge. He wants Cub Hawkins again. He wants to fight him again. Well, he's very unhappy about Jake Kerr not turning well, up. Well, rightly so. Yeah, I, mean, but... I spoke to... I, I got all the stuff from Jake Kerr, so he was intending on coming. Yeah, well, it, listen, Calvary showed the cojones, if I can put it that way, to step into the, the Trigon. 22-second victory, like you say. No, no overtime, but I think we've got, we're going to look at something else from earlier, yeah. time, aren't we? Well, let's have a look at one of the fights from earlier tonight.
Let's get this main event in Cardiff underway. The roof will come off this place. Let's get a big mo to get the guys into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. This is your main event of the evening. And Cardiff, we are sold out. Are you ready to make history? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for six three-minute rounds, and it is for the BYB Police Gazette Diamond Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger, firing out of the blue corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Laurent T. Nelson. This is one tough guy, LT Smash Nelson, from South Africa but fights out of this wonderfully named Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Absolutely, what an, an amazing character, Tom. This guy could have gone to Stanford University as a 17-year-old. He's incredibly bright. He's got massive IQ in the ring. 61 fights in combat sports, 13 titles across several marks, mixed martial arts discipline. Been a delight to be around all week, and boy, can he fight. He's draw with James Canelli here in uh, the last time out. James Kennelly, of course, from Birmingham in England. Great fight, amazing fight. He's got something about him. He's an engaging character, his LT, a really engaging character. But when he gets in that trigon, he knows what to do. He is a beast of a fighter. He's had a, he's had a calling to fight. He could have inherited the family fortune. His father, Trevor, and his mother, Rosemary, they've flown in from San Remo, Italy, where they live. They're incredible characters. And his mom and dad, by the way, are the inspiration for him to fight, because they always allowed him to be himself, even though he was an academic, a sportsman. His mother's just walked in front yep. of me here. They're incredible characters. And this guy will silence the arena if he wins tonight. Well, he says he loves doing anything that thrills and loves the thrill of the Trigon. The absolute tangible atmosphere of thrill and excitement here. Everybody in this packed sold out arena is on their feet. As Nelson go. soaks up the atmosphere. He's got a big mo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Wales, your own Barry Jones! Here he is, the Welsh wrecking machine himself. This guy can fight, 10 and 0, bare knuckle. I seen him fight Kel Brook for the British glove title. He was, it were beaten that day, but he doesn't, he had something about him that makes you feel he's a fighter. He's a fighter first and foremost. When he comes to bare knuckle, he stands alone. Because you've got to be something special to beat him. LT knows Nelson is something special, so we've got to fight. Look at these scenes on our screen. He's in the back room there. He's as chill as you like, cool as a cucumber, as they'd say in Wales. Milking, oh, look at him, dancing on his toes. Beautiful shape. Look at the crowd tonight. They're absolutely it. unbelievable. Everybody praying that he could work, get victory tonight. I walked around the crowd while we were singing Land of My Fathers, my head lad Vanadai, and everybody wants this man to win. He's incredibly humble, undefeated in bare knuckle, royalty in mixed martial just kissed his two kids. Yeah, exactly. The first time they've ever been at his fight, by yeah. the way. Yeah, and we went to his house, Beth and, and the two lads, Kobe, and Kobe's a fighter as well, by the way. Look at the, look at the aura the man exudes. Extraordinary man, extraordinary character. He says he's gonna on the brink of retirement the whole time. He's already time. said that every fight. Exactly, so he is a leading figure in this sport. But in, in, in his fighting, he's aggressive come forward. His weakness in activity. <laughs> but I went round his town with him and everybody was stopping him. His weakness is he can't walk away. Everybody in Wales knows him, knows of him. 
and we are in for one hell of a fight. Because LT Nelson is a very talented fighter. And it's a very historic title on the line, the Police Gazette Super Middleweight title, isn't it? This is an historic title, isn't it? Well, LT looks in the mood, Barry Jones looks in the mood. You won't have to wait long, folks, we're back after this. And LT, when I was speaking to him, I said, how are you going to feel with everybody, thousands, hating you, wanting you to lose? And he just laughed it off. I think he'll feed off it. I think he'll he'll use it to, to inspire himself. Oh, no, absolutely. You can see that about him. He's absolutely calm, cool, and collected. You can see that right now in front of us. Let's get it underway. Here's Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Six three-minute rounds for the BYB Police Gazette Diamond Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Presented by BYB Extreme, our referee in charge from the bell rings, Wayne Spinola. So, Cardiff, I need you all to get up out of your seats. Raise your dreams high and get Wild! Well, let's meet the fighters. First, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the camouflage trunks, he stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 161 and one half pounds. He holds a near perfect bare knuckle record of six victories versus one defeat and one draw. And he fights out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, USA, by way of KwaZulu Natal, Peter Maritzburg, South Africa. Introducing the current reigning BYB middleweight and BYB super middleweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Laurent T. Smash Nail. champion fighting out of the red corner wearing the blue trunks with gold trim he stands five feet 11 inches tall he weighed in at 162.7 pounds he holds a perfect undefeated bare knuckle record of 10 victories versus no defeats with nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Ferndale Wells. Introducing the current, the reigning, the defending Police Gazette Diamond Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Machine, Barry Jones! You can hardly hear yourself speak. What That's what I've got to say. What a scene, what, what an atmosphere, wow, Tony, it's unbelievable. What an atmosphere, unbelievable. LT don't care that nobody likes it. It's like him. an old bear pit, it's like an old-fashioned Victorian town bear pit right now. Well, this is not a, a foregone conclusion for no, either fighter. No. This is a real good fight. Emma. Oh, great little shot right from Barry Jones. And another one. Good defence, though, from... Oh! Straight down the middle for Barry Jones. And he's caught him at twice now. And LT knows he's in a fight now. Yeah, but Barry Jones has gone hunting. Hand speed from Jones is extraordinary right now. Caught LT early. Fantastic attacks by Jones but from the, the South Pole stance. But the endurance and the resilience of LT is something to be admired because he will bounce back. Yeah, both very resilient, both very experienced. Jones looks so composed, though, doesn't he? Look at him. He's so composed. 
so aware, so visual. Do you know what he does well? Gets out of trouble well. Absolutely. He's hard to hit. It's hard to breathe in. Oh, oh the great shot from Jones. Oh, right hand. He hurt him with that right hand. He's standing into it. LT still standing. Unbelievable stuff. He's tagging another him. left from Jones. He's tagging him for fun. He's cut as well now under the left cheek. Barry's, Barry's on the upper now. He's so precise, so clinical, isn't he? It's He's gone through again. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle, Barry Jones. Everything he Oh, he's oh, caught from Sally. Brilliant stuff. Oh, what a war. This is a war, Tom. Absolutely. What I love about Jones, he's so efficient. He's looking for openings in the door. Blood what? seeping down under the left eye of no, he's Nelson. Even... What he is, he's economical. Absolutely. He's economical so with his efficient. Punches. When he, he doesn't miss many thro punches he throws. Stepping in beautiful footwork with his lead right leg from the southpaw starts. Great counters there from Nelson, who fancies it. He's starting to fancy it in this round. Here he comes again, Jones coming forward. Throws it there with us. Gareth A. Davis, boxing expert. World wide and straight, that straight jab again from Jones. And then the body. But LT, Gareth, look at the resilience of the, from him. Absolutely, he feels his way in. He, he's all grit, determination, desire, incredible cardio, doesn't care that he's cut, working his way in, just making Jones think a little bit more now. Jones staying at distance, still trying to do that clever work. Oh, lovely left hook from Nelson, Tom. He never moved, Barry. No, never he moved. Didn't. He didn't. Never flinched, never moved. But look at his foot. His head movement is a typical boxer style, a champion boxer style. But this is bare knuckle. This is BYB. This is where it counts. No matter, no matter how good you are, no matter how good you are, you can be finished. Wow. We're back. We're back after this. BYB is that you can you you can be ahead on points and get beaten. Here's this action from the first round. Great left there from Jones. Well, Jones got a terrific start, didn't he? And yet Owen oh, uh, went back. And yet oh. um, Nelson fought his way back in. He's a very tough customer. That, those, Great shot, chin. those shots would have put other people down. Absolutely. Jones has got to be wary, though, of getting too greedy. He wasn't greedy in that round. He won the round easily by technical efficiency. This is why we're calling it bare knuckle royalty fighting right now. Here we go, second round. This is what the people of Wales have been waiting for. And this is it all. Oh, LT now. He's come out to prove a point, LT. He's changing levels very cleverly. That's what he's decided to do this round. Change levels and come inside and throw that right hook. That's what's dangerous. There you go, and there he lands with it. But look moving at it. inside with a level change. Look at his feet. He's fighting a southpaw. So you have to come across the southpaw to stop... With, with the left leg, with the exactly. Left leg exactly. Absolutely right. He's doing it effectively. And he's there doing he it by changing levels. Jones needing to work him out here and work out the tactics. They've both got very, very high Q, high IQ fighting. You can see that lovely little left shuffle from Jones there on the chin of Nelson, who's in the clinch now, and he's got a great clinch on. He's going to work on the body of the Welshman. And that's where he... Oh, that was a... That hurt Jones, and Jones there could be in a bit of trouble. The body's hurt, but he comes back and down he goes. The body shots hurt Jones big it time. hurt him to the body then. A flurry of punch to the body. The referee's calling it a low blow. He's going to... He gets oh, several the referee, Spinola, the American referee, and says it's a low blow. I agree with him. In the beginning of that flurry was a low blow. Good calling by the referee. That gives him time to recover. We'll see it on the replay. But he's right got, above us here in the corner. You've got to give LT credit for the way he's come back into this fight. Jones is tired and hurt yeah. from that exchange, though. LT is trying to... He's trying to rough it up. He's trying to take away the skill and effectiveness of Jones by making it a toe-to-toe -to -toe tear up. Well, he's made it his fight this second round. LT's doing a fantastic job. 
job of smashing, as he's called, his ring sobriquet, his Trigon sobriquet. Jones going through a very difficult period here in this fight, having to weather a massive storm right now. He's this taking is, a lot this of punches. Is El, this is LT's type of fight. Absolutely. Jones needs to keep him at range. He needs to get out now. Oh, terrific right counter from Jones as Nelson pulls on the pressure. He's got to get out that corner. Yeah. But LT knows if he keeps him in that corner, he can punish him. But Jones happy to clinch right now. He's blocking all those uppercuts. Take a breather. Take a little breather. Both men showing the war, the war signs now, the scars and the blood and the, the swellings on both their face. Great uppercuts a great shot. by Nelson. What a chin he's got. Nelson is one tough cooking. Very. Terrific action. It's absolutely non-stop. Referee splits them. Jones needs to get out of that corner. He's You're absolutely right. He's got to get him, right got to get him in the centre of the he's ring. He's getting worn down. The battery levels are going down here. Oh, he's gone down now. Well, that's what I said to you. There's exhaustion from those relentless body and head punches from the Americans born in South Africa. If he keeps him in the middle of the ring, he can keep him at distance and fight him and box him. Jones in serious trouble now here in the second round. Just making the count there. And LT. Fought again in the corner. Fourth back. Can... Oh, he's oh, got really enough to get out again. Oh, oh, three great shots from Jones, but back comes LT. LT again. Jones again. What a, what a fight. What exchanges, Thomas. Unbelievable, unrelenting action. What a round. Oh, boy, oh, boy, what a round that was. What a round that was. And there's four to go. <laughs> these, it's exhausting. These are tough guys. No, they're unbelievable athletes. I mean, I thought Barry was out on his feet, then he's come back and tagged him big time. Yeah. Well, what, what Nelson did in that round was very, very severely was made his kind of fight where it's a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl. He knows if he tries a boxing match, he'll get beat, yeah. so he's turned it into a brawl. He made it his round. Correct. It was a dominant round. 10-8 round for him there, of course, because he, he felled the Welshman. There's a low blow here, I'm convinced of it. Oh, yeah. That's that flurry of body shot yeah, for the very start of that, that assault. There wasn't there. That was the low yeah. blow with the right hand. Let's have another look at that. Well, it was, oh, it was that, low. Yeah, it, you're that, right. That was one low blow there, yeah. And it doesn't have to hit right in the cojones. In third round, they're at each other straight, straight away, away they're out. LT's come hunting. No room for Jones Listen, to manoeuvre. No quarter asked, given or expected. These guys are there to fight. This is unbelievable fair, unbelievable action. Referee, Spinola oh! splits them. Tremendous right counter from Jones, Jones Tom. again, and he tries to turn his man and finish him, but he can't you, get there. You think he's out on his feet and he bang? Yeah. Get out of that corner, Jones. Because in BYB, of course, they look for not only punching the target spots but aggressiveness coming forward. Absolutely. And LT has been very aggressive coming forward. Unrelenting. Very close to a low blow with his right hand. Then he was there. again, absolutely. Crash trying to lift him. Barry, Barry rings around the Vale Arena here in Cardiff, the capital of Wales. Nelson marginally ahead, in my view, on, in the fight in terms of the ascendancy, but it's still anybody's fight. Look at his face. Nelson's busted up, isn't he? Absolutely. Cut the blood eaters. His nose cut. But he's digging so deep. Because of those cuts, he's not done. They tell me that in BYB you don't really feel the cuts till afterwards because your adrenaline's pumping. Jones being very smart in the clinch here, Tom. Exhaustion, both suffering by both men now, suffer by both men. Oh my god, it's edgy your seat stuff, isn't it? Uh, I mean, the it adrenaline is. is unbelievable watching these two men go at it. Two warriors, they epitomize the word warrior. You've got to get out of that corner. They're you not must normal. Get out that corner. They are not normal, these two men. No. <laughs> Volume still very much with Nelson in this fight so far. He's throwing the second and he's third rounds. He's, he's shattered as well. Absolutely. 
and he may just punch himself out here if Jones can... Oh! I think that is it. A right hand makes him slump right to the floor, him. where Jones is really struggling to get up off his knees. I think he's going to be counted out, Tom. It's, no, it's over. LT wins by KO. And he's out. And look at LT. Well, he's... LT silent. is absolutely out on his feet. Absolutely, he shouldn't. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he's so out on his feet, he's on his knees. I mean, he's silenced the arena here, but what a terrific fight these two men put up for almost... Well, almost nine minutes that felt like nine hours of fighting. It was unbelievable. Wow, what a fight. Incredible. And there you have the, the boxer, the brawler. And the Trigon, the Trigon, the Trigon, the Trigon was sim significant tonight. To be fair, he used the Trigon better. Yeah, because he Nelson was able to walk Jones into those corners after Junior the first round and keep him there, exactly right. Terrific contest, absolute respect between the two gentlemen in front of us now. First defeat for Jones. Look at that respect, home that respect can only be two guys who've Very battled it out in the ring. Absolutely. Wow. I know it's wrong. I'd love to see a rematch. I know, do you know, I was just thinking the same thing. How gory and visceral are we Absolutely. that we want to see that again? But I would definitely watch that again. What a brilliant victory away from home in the Dragon's Den here in Cardiff. He's an incredible fighter, Nelson. He's had an incredible life. Absolutely. And he's coming to Wales, into the ring, into this hostile atmosphere and done the business. Well, the Trigon suits him, doesn't it? His style of fight, he's got an incredible chin. He took some of Jones' biggest punches. He ate them like he was having sandwiches for lunch. And he just came back relentless and walked his opponent down. When LT looked like he was beaten. Oh, in the first round, I thought he was going to get beaten. And then he's, co and he's come out that second round like a map possessed. And what's brilliant here tonight as well, look how much the crowd are supporting Nelson as well as Jones. Wow, let's... Let's hear what Big Mo's going to do in that ring. There's that many people in there, I can't see him, but he's in the ring. Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for these two bare knuckle warriors tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Spinola calls a stop to this contest at two minutes. 26 seconds of the third round, declaring your winner by knockout and the new BYB Police Gazette Diamond Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Laurent T. Smash Nelson! Well, this is... Yes, LT, great win tonight. I mean, you beat the great Welsh fighter in there, uh, Barry Jones. Uh, body shots seem to be working a treat for you. Talk us through the fight, mate. Great win. Yes, yeah, sir, man. You know, first off, big, uh, big love to Barry Jones. I know everyone came out to see him. He's a true class act. He's a, he's a pioneer of, of the bare knuckle game. He's been helping all of us and showing all of us how it's done. I was able to come out here and perform and get that win, you know, but it was a hard, tough fight that I hope all the crowd, all the fans, people around the world love to watch. Is that what we do at Fighters? We're entertainers. We come out here to throw down and put on a show for all you guys. I mean, that was a great win, like you say, some great shots. You had to take a few yourself. Uh, were the body shots that played a big factor in that fight? Was that something you've worked on in the gym or... You know, is that just how you work? Did you notice it in the fight? Or have we been working on, working on that in the gym? We've definitely been working that on uh, that in the gym, but we work a little bit of everything in the gym. So once again, it was just about what we saw when the first combos happened, when I first got dropped, so on and so forth. So what, what's next after such a tough fight? Yeah, it was such a great fight. What are we looking for next? Man, I'm, look, I'm taking over the world, bro. I don't give a shit, I'll fight any human in the world. Like I've said, 
I'll take on anyone. I am the best in the world. Come challenge me. Come on. Yeah, like you say, great win. You know, if he was up for the rematch, would we see the rematch? You know what? I'm, yeah, of course. Get a get a get a win underneath you, and let's go. Yep. So, like you say, what's next? Any more the big names out there for you? Uh, no idea. My my coach and people will decide that. Yep. I mean, it was great to see it in Wales. I mean, it was a great fight. You know, for everybody to see the fight fans, the burn knuckle boxing fans out there. You know, we love you over here. Um, you know, we'd love to see you again. Great fight. Thanks so much for coming over and giving such a great fight. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Much love. Thank you. I say, yeah, well done, LT. Tough guy, family. Sorry to everybody who's come to watch me. And sorry I don't like it. And my kids, especially. Uh, that's it, now I'm calling it a day. Uh, I want to I dedicate this fight to my nan. Passed away last week as well, so I'm sorry I lost, like, but you know, I'm sorry. I thank everybody, right? Fair play to LT, he's a beast. Just an arm me, I'm too old now. Sorry, everyone. Well done, congratulations, top man. Beast. Thank you. Thanks, up, buddy. Great fight, great warrior, true warrior in Wales. Well done, my friend. Well done, my friend. No problem, mate. Now you didn't let anyone down, mate. You give us such a great fight. Wow. So he's retired. Well, he doesn't want the rematch. He's 39 years old, he told us. His children came for the first time. You saw how upset his son was in the ring with him. Maybe he can be tempted back for one more. You and I were both I think might cogitating be. on it, if I can use that word. And boy, I'd I've watch no that again. What it means, but if you're thinking so. about it, I'd love to see them fight again. That is definitely the fight of the night. Oh, no, there's no question that was the Not fight. Not even of the a night. question, the fight of but the night. Terrific work by Nelson in kind of working his way through Jones, using the using the trigon, using the angles. It's all about angles, making himself, silencing the crowd, making himself the new champion. What gentlemen he and Jones are as well, by the way, in their oh, embracing right now. They're both getting their red dragons. One man now holds the uh, Police Gazette super middleweight belt. Oh, absolutely. I love this weight division in bare knuckle, you know, because they've got chins as well as power yeah. and speed. And they've got technical ability. What a fight. That's one of the greatest... That's, that's like Hagler Hearns over seven minutes, I, isn't it? I remember it? that fight well. That, you know, the great fights that you get, we will remember this forever. That's a fight you cannot not watch again. Fraser Alley. Absolutely. But the fact that Hagler Hearns went All three rounds, fights. Well, they went exactly and they, get, they went toe to toe these two the, for eight or nine minutes, whatever it was, extraordinary when fight. You, when we, you're sitting back in years to come, you'll remember the fight, and that's how good it was. Absolutely. You remember that fight. They're now just having. They're still in the ring. I'm just wondering. I mean, James Kennelly. Yeah. Drew with um, LT out in the USA, so he might fancy another crack at it. Listen, Nelson can headline a card in America, and you can also put him in against another British or Welsh wizard over here. He's shown that he can come into the lion's den, as you said earlier. He came here to Wales. He, he soaked up all the pressure. Took, they he took it all. He, he carried himself magnificently over the last few days, and he is right now, and the crowd can't complain. And the thing is, like other combat sports, you can't complain about the decision. I mean, we got... No. Incredible fight tonight with resolutions in most of them. And as this, as we saw at the beginning, in the Trigon, in, in BYB Extreme, 90% results, not points decisions, yes. stoppages. stoppages. And we saw it again tonight. So there you go, folks. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. But next up, of course, we've got Denver. Thanks very much indeed from me and him. Gareth, thanks for being with us. They expected me to switch when I receive love. Gotta let the marathon run its natural course. I can feel the force. Nike, boots, broom, no mogli. When I pop out like a lightning. Polish, briefcase, no wallet. Just blew a bang like Scotsman. Kill that in the AM going real fast. UK, honey, at the drill that bonds me. Held out no conflict Might have said I love her But I never made a promise I should be ashamed And I've said it to a few birds Made them think that they was mine Gave them new birds And attention It got to their head quick Will I ever learn? That's a good question Damn 
A lot of pressure, so I gotta pop. And I love it like I gotta pop. Sorry that y'all gotta watch. BKT's up on the truck. The boys are counting on me, need to make it out the mud. So for them, I get the D done. When I receive love, you know the whole team up. That's why I let the marathon run its natural course. I can feel the force. Hockey. Boots, broom, no moggy. When I pop out, like it like Case no wallet, just blew a bang like skies. Kill back in the AM going real fast. UK honey in the drill that bonds me. Held out no conflict. Might have said I love her, but I never made a promise. 